All right, class, the last lecture for unit one is on calcium homeostasis. So balancing the blood calcium. So a lot of people think calcium is just for bone, but actually calcium is really vital in the blood so that it's readily available for muscle contraction. That includes the heart, the skeletal, and the smooth muscle. It's also a critical part of nerve impulse trans tra uh, transmission and information processing. So you need calcium to make sure you're processing information cor correctly in the brain. It's also important for wound healing and cell metabolism so that the wound can have a matrix for healing. So normally you have to maintain your calcium uh, homeostasis. Anything below or above that is a disease condition of hypo or hypercalcemia, okay? So you want to learn a little bit about the gland. So do some histology and anatomy on where the gland sits and the tissue and then the hormones produced and then the uh, response. In the pathway, I have all like the steps here on how it's performed. I think it's fairly self-explanatory, so I'm not gonna draw it out. So you're gonna follow this step, look at what happens in hypocalcemia, how do you bring it back to homeostasis. But also, um, I kind of outline again here to look at what happens, what does PTH actually do, okay? And then the production of vitamin D, how vitamin D is made to regulate PTH. And then also condition when there's hypercalcemia, how do you bring it back to homeostasis? So I want you to look at the pathway, draw it out on your own. Don't just look at it. Um, make sure you draw it out, practice it, and understand what the hormones do. The pathology can get a little tricky. So you want to practice it a few times and really understand it. Because the pathologies start getting you to look at um, if something is wrong with the pathway, can you bring it to homeostasis or are you stuck at one step one, okay? So you gotta keep on re remember that. So if you have a, con if there's a condition where um, there's something wrong um, with, the, with the pathway, then what happens is you don't get homeostasis. So you have to really think about what caused that to be not able to go back to homeostasis. If there's some confusion, we can definitely do a virtual meeting or discussion or office hour to explain that. But I want you to work through this and see how much you can follow through the pathway and also work through the practice quiz. So remember, this week you will also have the unit one exam. So you should be reviewing everything. That's why this week is a shorter lecture. Okay, good luck. Let me know if you need any help.